Hi, welcome to DCO. My name is David Capetti, and in this video I'll be sharing how to create a custom cluster so you can simplify your designs. And I'll be sharing that right now. So let's jump right in. So I've been asked, how do you make those custom scripts with your own inputs, outputs? Um, and so I want to show that. And this one, um, I have this building and I have the surface. What I'll do is I'll take the surface, bring it in here using isotrim and also bring it in using a surface component now i'll go ahead and right click here set one surface plug it into the surface input now let's bring in divide domain squared let's plug in this surface into domain and the segments into domain here now, as you can see, we have a U and V count. Let's change that. Let's go to 15. And I'll make two copies here. And change the name to U and V. And I'll plug these in. What I'll also do is take that surface and do control H to hide it. Now we can see everything in here. Now I'll take this surface and disable preview. So now let me show you how to turn this into a custom script because we have more than one. Um, we have more than one component and we only have one output and two inputs. So what we want to do here is make sure that we have a output here so this is going to be either a b rep or surfaces i'll disable the preview here and also another surface input so i'll go here to surface and i'll type in show again and i'll use this surface and i'll apply it here so set one surface and use this to plug into here and you'll see why. So this is mostly for setting it up. So we have, these are going to be the inputs. This is going to be the output. And we have divide domain squared and isotrim, both as components that we kind of want to bring together. So let's take, before I do this, actually, uh, we can t technically just select this middle click and go to cluster or what I like to do before that, and here let me show you the reason why, is because I'll take make a copy of this. And if I take this and I do middle click and cluster, you'll see that it will give me names already, and that's okay. But I actually like to label them myself, because sometimes they're not as organized as this. So like you can see, now we've created this really cool clean cluster that now we can use to subdivide the surfaces in the same way. And we can disable the preview here and we can hide this surface. And we also have this one here showing, so I'll disable the preview. And disable the preview on this one. Now you will have this icon. Uh, you can change that, but you have to go online and kind of create this weird format. Um, and with that, you basically have it, and we can change the name of this, right? We can right click here, change the name of the cluster. So this would be subdivide surface. And the input can be base surface. Now, let me show you what I like to do to clean them up a little bit further is I'll double click on this input double click on this input in this way or on this wire and it will actually give me two relays and when I select everything including the relays but nothing else I'll do middle click cluster now it gives me an even smaller cluster so if you're looking to just kind of make things tighter this sometimes is a way because with the sliders you can give it the name of what it does and here it could just be a clean small one so these are two ways in which you can create your own cluster with your own custom names um, and as you can see we can obviously make this a lot more complicated 
So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you found that interesting. If you want more information and more goodies, I guess you could say, um, check out my website and consider subscribing and becoming a member. I have a bunch of scripts available for people and also want to create a community where we could all get together and ask questions and um, further kind of explore this parametric world. So thank you very much for being here and I hope to see you next time.